Hi, it's time for a repair video. I've got a little, uh, one of Sagan's little toys here. It's one of these little mini, arc it's a mini arcade cabinet. Um, not like my real one I've got here, but uh, yeah, it's like got 50 games in one or something like that. And the screen has gone skew on it. Screen's a bit knackered. Let's turn it on. Da -da 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 -da. We've got lines across here. Still seems to work. I can still select stuff and plays. That flickering is not just the camera, that's happening in real life. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I can see things. Just, yeah, it's one sick puppy. So, I would take it apart, have a squeeze. It's probably just a single uh, chip solution in it, um, I'm sure. Wouldn't, would it be an ASIC? I mean, you know, they've got to get the price down on these things. They they, they practically give these things away. They're really dirt cheap. So, yeah, I don't know. Or is it just a um, an ARM processor, an LCD, and uh, maybe an external ROM or something for the games, perhaps? I don't know. Let's take a look. Well, it looks like to open it up, I've got to slice right through the decal like that. No worries. Out comes the knife. All right, so that was easy. And there you go, a single-sided board. Don't want to waste your money on a double-sided jobby so is it looks like we are just gonna uh okay so we've got a, a um, interface board for all the uh for the little joystick and the buttons and a single-sided i reckon we're just going to get a uh, single asic blob on there so yep i reckon they've gone to the trouble of that not much else in it is there wow like they've gone to the effort to put the speaker on the back you know <laughs> <laughs> it's got to wire that over and of course you don't want any of that uh, screw rubbish you just uh, get the soldering iron down there and uh, just <laughs> melt those heat stakes to uh, keep the switch in place same thing for the speaker as well no wackers and there you have it we've got one of those dodgy uh, tab connections again so yeah that's probably it and of course uh, to get your uh, single sided board they couldn't get it all on the single sided layout so they've used some carbon jumpers on there so that uh, extra process layer to put the carbon traces on there is going to be cheaper than doing a double sided board with a uh, plate through and that's you know that's probably the case when you're talking about these things they probably manufactured hundreds of thousands of these or a million of these things so yes it was a uh, is a black blob and so that's a uh, chip on board that's a, they just uh, like glue that straight on there and then they start uh, bond wires going over to the pad then they just gunk the whole lot got a uh, S08 package happening there have to look at the part number there but we've got a regulator and uh, well yeah, not much else is there but that's all you need so yeah they've developed a custom ASIC for that well I presume it could be uh, like a uh, pre-programmed uh, micro a microcontroller like it could just be like a, a big memory big flash memory arm uh, processor or something like that may not be one of the mainstream ones maybe one of those uh, uh, obscure uh, Chinese brands or something and then they just get it in die form and blob the whole lot so not necessarily an ASIC under there you can't make that call unless you actually know what's going on but anyway uh, I think the faults almost certainly in our tab connection there grown seen that in many videos before all right, let's see what happens to that screen if I push down on the connections. Just use my thumb at this stage. Nothing. That's interesting. Hmm, I have to get my poker. Wow, no, it ain't that. It ain't a bad connection. Because that, that's actually soldered. Yeah, that's actually soldered. That's actually not a conductive adhesive. So it, it ain't that. Is it inside the screen? Is it a bad uh, die bond in there? What's going on? And you can actually see the COG chip on glass up there. That's our driver chip. That's actually embedded on the glass. And they, if I put physical pressure on there, so it's not the, this would be uh, conductive adhesive but it ain't that it ain't that because they've gunked the whole lot of that so um yeah it's something else 
Aha, Windbond. Um, it's not necessarily an obscure brand. Um, yeah, so that's an external uh, flash memory by the looks of it. 25064, or is that Q64? All right, I'm going to see if it's a thermal thing with the uh, dye bond under there. Can get my freezer spray, which is just my uh, air duster turned upside down. Instant freezer spray. Nope. Whoa, chilly finger, chilly finger. It ain't that. No, it wasn't that. Let's try the LCD connection. Nope. It's nothing thermal. Well, the thermal doesn't fix it anyway, like a bad connection or something like that causes it to get worse or get better. So, hmm. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to suspect is the solder connections on there. So, hey. Look a little bit how you're doing, don't they? Hard to tell. Really got to get them under the microscope. You can have a micro crack in any one of those. Of course, you can uh, you can check those manually. You can just buzz out each side of that fairly conveniently, and that's a pretty quick, easy test. So probably do that as a matter of course, or you could just simply oh just stop playing. Oh, auto turn off perhaps. Yeah, so, or you could just go reheat them all, but I might just buzz them all out first. And yeah, not sure if you can see that on camera, but I tried to probe this and you can't really, because you can see that hopefully that there's a whole bunch of uh, uh, gunk covering that. So you can, like, yeah, you really need sharp probes to uh, pierce through. It's, uh, it's really annoying. They've put like a, a it's almost like a glue type stuff on top. Mm. Well this is getting nasty. I just resoldered all the connections on there and we got the exact same problem. I, I went through and reheated them all. I just, what you do is you just get in there with your iron and you just drag them like that back and forth and I, it, exactly the same problem. And I did it twice so you'd think that the odds are that if there was a bad uh, join on there, it would have either got worse or gotten better. But no, it's exactly the same. Hmm. Is there a uh, little micro crack in the ribbon, perhaps? Wouldn't be the first time I've encountered that, but I've been wiggle, 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 year in, and I, I just can't, well, can't get anything to, anything to happen. So... It's not like it's a bad contact or intermittent contact somewhere. Oh, oh, I just threatened to get the oscilloscope out and um, it. I turned it on and it just went bzzz, it, it, it didn't. It didn't play. Oh, I swear. Whoa, something's going on. Whoa. Yep, something's happening. Give the board a flex. Yeah. Something's dodgy. Let's try flexing that board. Because that'll affect the... That black gunk isn't perfect. There'll be some flexion in there. And the bonds might not... If they're intermittent, they could come a gutter. But no. No, that's okay. Whoa. But the screen is doing that and it's resetting and it's flickering. So, hmm... Something very wrong with this LCD. I'm playing a game at the moment and I can't see a thing. So it's not like the it's the um, just the stripes. And if you have a look on the edge like that, when you put it on the side, you can actually see it. Can I select that? Continue. Start. There you go. So you can like straight on. Can't see a thing. It practically vanishes. And on the side, you can. It seems to be, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of mostly working. There's some ghosting stuff happening there, but there you go. So that's that's really interesting. What's going on? And what do you know? Wah, 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 wah. I dropped it, didn't I? I was <laughs> moving stuff on the soldering bench and it dropped off onto the floor. And that's the result. So, yep, crack the LCD. There's just no point fixing it now so I'm gonna 
leave that. I couldn't be bothered. And um, yeah, gone ski, I'm afraid. And uh, yeah, I'll just dump this on the second channel. So, ah, uh, well, that sort of stuff happens. Anyway, if you've got any idea about the, uh, about the lines on there and why it's uh, faded like that, let us know. We could have got into like the dry voltages and all that sort of jazz in there, but um, yeah, I, nah, nah, not gonna waste any more time on it. Catch you next time.